All right, hello guys. I know it's been a while, but um, I am back. Um, today I'm gonna be reviewing the Violet Evergarden 2020, the movie. I've already watched it, so here, let, let, let me just jump into it. So, you know, have you ever watched like a really, really awesome anime only for it to be the shittiest ending ever? Well, this is the first one I've come across and I genuinely do not recommend Violet Evergarden to anybody ever again in my whole entire life. Um, I totally regret watching Violet Evergarden uh, 2020, the movie, because um, it destroyed everything I've watched. Um, it destroyed the most beautiful, perfect series I've ever watched. Violet Evergarden was a tearjerker for anybody watching. If you didn't cry watching Violet Evergarden, um, you are a soulless piece of filth. Okay, I take that back. You're probably not a soulless piece of bill, uh, filth. You're just probably less emotional than most people. And I am not one of those people. But um, I'm going to give uh, Violet Evergarden, the movie, 2020, the shittiest one, uh, you know, one out of ten, zero out of ten if possible. Because, my God, the way she ended up. Uh, okay, 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 all right, all right. Well, let, let me just read a bit of the movie. So basically, the movie is basically about, you know, Violet Evergarden. Um, getting pretty famous with her work, with her line of work. Um, everybody's getting to know her. She's doing like, you know, big deals here and there, left and right. I'm talking really fast right now because I'm kind of fumed right now. So, um, yeah, just, just ignore that. Um, the main gist of it is that, uh, she gets this clue, uh, she, she meets this uh, little boy, right? Um, that's basically, he has this like very uncurable disease and he hires her with like, what? Like with nothing, I think it's like one of those programs that she runs, where she like she writes for free for like sick children, and he's one of them sick children. And he he's gonna die eventually, and he he didn't tell his parents that he was writing a letter, like a goodbye letter to his parents. So anyway, uh, she likes she she writes a letter for her, but then um, for some reason the you know the director the the guy that's in charge the the auto mail place right um he finds a letter that seems very very similar to the major i if you don't know who the major is he, he he's um he's the guy that um basically raised violet uh please remember that um uh, the major gilbert is the guy that raised violet pretty much he gave her name he raised her taught her everything since she was like you know i don't know like 10 or 8 or, or younger i don't i don't know um I, i'm pretty fumed right now but Whew. Basically, she discovers that, um, hey, this guy might still be alive on a certain island, so what does she do? She goes and visit him. At least, you know, go see him, see, see if he's actually alive, if it's actually him with, uh, with a director. And, you know, that's, that's alright, that's cool. Um, she arrives on the island, finds out that, you know, it is him. Um, he, he's actually running, like, an orphanage, and he's helping out this, like, very ups, up um, out of nowhere island and when he finds out that you know his old friend came to visit um which is the director um he was just like oh uh i i don't i don't want to see you um blah 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 um and then he mentions yo you could you, you have to at least like you know talk to violet or like visit violet and you know what does what's the major do what does the what, what's this shitty ass uh, gilbert guy do oh i don't want to see violet fuck violet you know I refuse to see Violet, and then he kept on refusing, and then the, you know, if you guys haven't noticed, a spoiler, <laughs> a spoiler, ooh, spoiler, well, anyway, um, he comes, and so, 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 so the director, like, you know, he kind of gives up, and he goes to Violet, and he's like, yo, Violet, um, Gilbert, he's real, he's still alive, he's missing an arm, um, you know, he doesn't want to see you because, uh, you know, he doesn't care about you, Violet. Uh, Violet uh, was was pre pretty hurt, which I think anybody pretty hurt, you know. Uh, you you, you want to go meet the one person that pretty much raised you and you find out that he's alive. And then you're just like, yo, and of course, everybody will, you know, want to go see him or like if he's still alive. But so he, I mean, she tries and then he refuses to see her no matter what she did. She stood outside, kept on begging her and kept on crying. And then, um, yeah, he, he refused. And then let's see, um, she, 
she she was standing outside of her room like house crying and there was like rain and everything right and eventually you know uh let's go back to that kid that you know that was gonna die uh apparently uh he is actually gonna die and he is dying and she gets a phone call basically they're like yo um the letter isn't finished yet or something blah 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 along this line she couldn't make it so she tries to um write the letter um or or to deliver the letter she has written uh to the parents before the kid dies and you know the kid actually does die and she couldn't make she couldn't she wasn't able to fly back to the place so he can give the kid like you know a proper goodbye or whatever but you know the kid was able to call his friend uh and basically talk to his friend that he kind of refused in the beginning it, it, it that was a very emotional moment but um you know after after the kid dies Violet was just like you know I I since since the major didn't want to see me or I mean see her um she's gonna be you know she's finally given up on him and be like I won't bother him since he doesn't want to be bothered um she's gonna go back and live her life out and never ever ever see him again at the very very end for some dumb ass reason Gilbert the stupid major uh had this stupid regret right um so when when Violet's on the boat she's finally uh sailing out he decided to change his fucking ass mind and decided to chase after her and you know and convince her to come back and live with him and and, and confess to her that he really loves her mind you uh she she the moment that he came she she jumped off that gigantic ass boat jumped str she plunged straight into the ocean where there's like probably rocks and shit with her with her i don't know 80 30 pound as robotic cyborgic uh metal sheeted arms where she should have just drowned where there's no way she could have floated nah she she swam like a champion she she swam right back to shore to him and then apparently uh she never left the island never never went back to visit anybody um got married and just lived her life out within there okay i'm, I'm not pissed that they got together i'm pissed about all the circumstances like one he was being an absolute bitch about uh not seeing her and then at the last last moment for no goddamn reason he decided that hey i'm gonna i'm, I'm I, I love this girl that i raised mind you he groomed her since eight or ten and this girl um she decided to throw away all of her character development for this um the, the character development was all because he was dead and he and, and she was like you know learning how to accept his death and moving on and living with her life without being um and following the directions of the major but nah she threw that all away because the major was still alive and um he wanted her and like she already made her decision to like you know live her own life without his without following his directions but one word from him she went she went straight back to him and um yeah, threw away all of her character development from all 13 episodes, all all the movies, everything. Like, literally everything. I, I never hated uh, a whole entire series as much before. Um, she This one movie destroyed all 13 episodes, all to both the movies' character developments in a matter of minutes. And... So this guy, basically, the major, Gilbert, he, 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 he fell in love with the girl he raised, mind you. He, he groomed her, he fell in love with her, decided to be a complete bitch ass to her for the first, I don't know, three days. And out of nowhere, right before she decides to leave, and then finds out that, oh, she's not going to continue begging uh, to see him anymore. He, he decides to like, yo... I kind of like this girl, but you know what? Let, let's end up with her because you know, she she's easy. I raised her. Blah blah blah. Man, I have never been so fumed that Violet Evergarden threw away all of her character development for this one guy that didn't even want to see her after uh I don't know x amount of years. Like she he wouldn't even, he didn't even want to say hi, dude. That, that that was how shitty he was. I hated Gilbert. Gilbert should have stayed dead. And um 
the, the the story was better off with him dead. Like he should stay dead because I I would have given this series a ten out of ten movies and uh and series. But now after everything, after this one movie, I I can't give it anything higher than five out of ten simply because uh, Violet Evergarden made um the the decisions she made just made all 13 episodes in two movies character development or worth of character development obsolete so yeah um if you ever plan on watching Violet Evergarden or I mean at this point I guess uh, you already watched it so yeah if you ever recommend this show to anybody just uh tell them to watch the first 13 episodes in um the the the, the movie the first movie not 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 the last one just don't ever mention the last one just say uh don't 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 watch the last one so yeah that's my review of violet evergarden the movie 2020 it's a shit movie five out of ten or zero out of ten yeah